before, after. Is there poop in the corner? Dave, I'm trying to film a video here. This is a prime example of why you should do things right the first time. So I had this camera facing the new jam room. It was time-lapsing. We were setting everything up. It was going great. And then we went to get the guitar and the banjo off of this wall. It was on this wall. And uh, when we took the banjo off, we noticed that there was some discoloration on the back of it. Then we pulled the records off from above the banjo and lo and behold, on the back of the records was mold. Which can only mean one thing, there's moisture in the wall. <sighs> a few years ago, we switched out our old, outdated water heater for a new electric water heater. For whatever reason, they have it in this awful spot, this little triangle patch cut out above the stairwell. Super weird. There's a pipe that runs out of your water heater called the condensate pipe. It's for condensation to escape out of the water heater and you run that through your wall outside and it just drips. It just drips. Unless. Unless your pipe runs out the wall and instead of being flat or angled down has a slight upwards angle to it. Because if that's the case then your water sits in the pipe and then when it gets to the end of the pipe it slowly runs backwards back into your wall dripping and dripping a constant, nagging, chronic drip into your wall. This constant drip has just annihilated the inside of this wall. It is what it is. We got all the insulation out, we took all the drywall down, got everything wet out. Any sign of mold we treated, we have all the materials, and we're gonna fix the wall. In case you missed the last couple of videos, my wife Sweet Pea and I decided to convert half of our garage into a designated creative area for our family. We were so close to wrapping this project up and had a couple of finishing touches we wanted to add when this happened. We're still going to finish the room today, but not before we address this disaster. On the bright side, we've made this mistake so that you don't have to. Takeaway is, if there's ever a project you're working on or something that you think I'll just fix that tomorrow. Like, I got it done to this point, I'll just fix it later. Just do it then. Why do tomorrow what can be done today? Why? And that specifically is important for plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Sleepy just found. Wait, hold it up again. <laughs> she found a new elbow. So now we don't have to make any We have an hole. elbow and then, look, and then how convenient is this? This pipe. <laughs> How why you shave your scrap, that? folks. <laughs> this is why you shave your scrap. Uh, I got regular clear PVC cement and I've got a pipe cutter in stock. Perfect. Sweepy's hardware store. Only I fit in here. <laughs> oh my oh gosh, my God, I terrible. always fall out of this cabinet. <laughs> We're gonna build a staircase right there. Do All I right. look really short in this outfit? You fit in the frame, you fit in the frame right now. So I'm like four feet tall. Reach. I think you should get the other stool on that stool. It won't. No, that's not for standing on, Chad. That's the cat litter holder. It's so You strong. think that that's better than using an actual stool on there? You know what's better than this? A ladder? I'm gonna be mad if it's nothing better. Let me guess, joint compound. So Looks who's be, right. So it must be a good idea. It's heavier, it's sturdier. Meanwhile, all the kids are banished to the main house. They're not allowed down here. <laughs> Hello! Let's get serious. Oh, that's water. It's a little long! to remove three studs. One, two, 
three, and then cut out that top plate, put a new one in there. Insulate, drywall, mud, texture, texture paint. paint. Done. And then it'll match. The and best. then we get to do this, baby. So stay tuned. So we ripped out the two studs that we thought were water damaged. They were a lot harder to get out than I expected, which means that they were healthier than I thought they were. But we still replaced them. Um, in the theme of everything is difficult, or what do we say, no nothing is easy, um, I had to notch out these 2 by 4s to fit around this stupid thing. As well as the top plate. But it's done. We definitely have a lot of peace of mind now when we come down here and see this wall when it's finished. It's motivation for the next project to just do it right the first time. Because three years goes by a lot quicker than I thought it would. I'm going to do what I normally do when I'm tired and I'm going to make a really fun, lighthearted montage of us finishing this wall and it's going to look super easy and I'm going to skip all the difficult parts and it's going to be great. studs in there. Uh, game's postponed on account of rain. Up. The condensate pipe on that wall runs through a hole. The hole's pretty big, so Sweepy is mixing some stucco patch. She's going to patch it up. And before she started doing that, I was like, You sure you want to do that today? Is that exactly what you said when you didn't do it the first time? <laughs> this is um, a bonding agent, so I'm just going to paint it on around the hole in on the inside of the hole so that the stucco has something to adhere to. It probably would adhere anyway because it's kind of a smaller space, but... Better safe than sorry. You know what? I should just mud the rest of our window while I'm up here. Is this where I'm at? This, this glue might not help. Oops. <laughs> We haven't painted this side of our house yet. It's gonna be kind of hard to do on this side without, I'm just gonna use this stick. Typically, I don't think people apply stucco patch with paint stirs. <laughs> you gotta use what you have. But you know, we are all about recycle, re <laughs> no waste. I bet I'm gonna just pumping stucco into the house right it's now. It's all good. It's gonna be a great patch job. You know, less things are gonna wanna come in and out, like bugs. Stucco Repair actually has like fiberglass fibers in it so it like holds all the putty together. There, I say that's good. I have a little extra, I'm just gonna do this big part. Looks great. Here you go. What the? It's, this is your ride out of here. You gotta take it down. I didn't even dirty this. I'm gonna hit the ground. 
See? <laughs> you got it. Here comes the chickens. Oh! <laughs> Toy bounced off the ground. They're not even scared. They didn't even get scared of me. They must be used to us. That was super okay. not fun. Now you need to go get the ladder. No. Just when I thought I was done with drywall mud. Turns out we weren't. We have our mud drying downstairs and it takes a while. We've got this dartboard outside and I've been trying to get it into our house for probably years. Sweepy does not want a dartboard in our living room. You know, the nature of the game when you have friends over, sometimes darts gets a little crazy and you, you miss. I'm happy to say I've, I'm finally gonna have a space that I can put my dartboard. Babe, hey, those birds are so cute. Since we've got some time to spare because the mud is drying in the garage, I thought that I would use this time to make myself a new dartboard cabinet. You may have noticed as we've been building out this garage space that we've been using a lot of heart tools. Sweepy and I are so stoked to be partnering with them and working with them on a few projects in the coming months, so keep your eye out for those. And my favorite thing I'm going to be working with today is this heart air compressor for a few reasons, but the main one being that it's battery operated. What's on the menu today, Chad? We're gonna build our dartboard a house. A dartboard house. I had nails in the nail gun. It's been really nice uh, upgrading all of my tools that usually plug into an outlet. Um, everything I have right now is battery operated, so it makes a world of difference. Not have to unplug stuff, plug stuff back in, yeah, I mean, blow a fuse. Cool. And the reason we're doing it horizontally instead of vertically is because this will give us more room to fish for a stud behind the wall. Pretty good at eyeballing. How's it look? Exact. Before we hook up all our hardware, we're gonna paint the cabinet. something so satisfying just tape off a big rectangle on a nice on another, sanded piece of wood on another piece on another rectangle look at this um i like what's happening here black white black look at it oh yeah Yay. i'm just eyeballing this it doesn't reach through. Ah, okay, it's okay. You know what we could do? 
Fortunately for us, we've run into this problem a few times doing cabinets in our house. The issue is that the cabinet door's depth is longer than the screw. So you get a bit that is the same size or a little bit larger than your screw head. Drill in ever so slightly. Don't go all the way through the wood because that'll just ruin everything. So we're gonna drill down about a quarter of an inch and that should give us enough play to get the screw. It's, uh, it's not scary, it's not hard, watch. Chad had a trick so you don't go too far. You just put some tape on your drill bit so you know where to stop. Push it through, okay. There we go. Gets the job done, looks cool. I think it would be perfect in the space. All right, uh, we gotta go downstairs and paint walls. And, do and some also things. clean up the space real quick. Oh, I hate clean up. Okay, now we can get back to finishing the jam room. Beautiful as this is, we're gonna paint it black too. Sorry. It just makes sense. Please be heavy. If <laughs> there's like this much paint. And what's so annoying, I am so mad. We we bought four gallons of black paint. We may have just have bought, or should have, have just bought a five gallon tub and saved like $75. That much? Probably. Oh, that hurts. So with that much paint, we gotta paint all this. Everything that you see here now. That doesn't matter. This side of the stairs, this trim, this beam, this wall. Drum roll, please. Is it enough? Also question is, can I do this without getting paint on my shirt? First board's going up. All right, so I cut myself this little tool, uh, which fits perfectly from top to bottom between these two by twos, if my measurements are correct. So I can set this one in and then measure the gap. Make sure it's right and then tack it in. Finally got these, finally got these vertical slats done. It's 11 o'clock at night, Sweepy's upstairs, put the kids to bed, and uh, I'm gonna get this space tidied up so I can show you what it looks like first thing in the morning. Okay, what song should I sing? What song should I sing? Not Soren, because that's my song. I'm not gonna sing that song. What song should I sing? Uh, you should do- Right here! Right here? No, you already did that one. No, I put drums to it! <laughs> it's crazy how long that felt, but it was only three weeks. Guys, the room looks sick. And somehow, even though we cut the garage in half, I, somehow it looks bigger. Yeah. I think it's the black paint. I mean, there's always something more to do. Like, there's little details that we want to tighten up here and there. But man, I'm taking the next week off from projects for sure. One last thing to oh, do. Oh yeah, one last thing to do and to show you. 
I'll get it. Ta-da! We did it. We you put our names on there. I did, because I want to see who can get closest to the bullseye in one. Wait, we were seeing that behind us the whole time. For example, one of the things we have to finish is <laughs> the that. Just Aww, ignore that. Oh, you picked the Just ignore it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, let's do a walk around. Okay. All the things we changed. Mm -hmm. um, besides the wall that we had to tear apart because it was leaking. <laughs> That's been changed. Totally dry, all brand new. Gives me peace of mind walking past it. We changed this wall, built in this wood feature, let in some natural light from the stairwell because we have a big window in the stairwell and this used to be a wall all the way to here. So you didn't get any of the natural light from the staircase and now you do. A laundry nook, it's really messy and this barn door is covering it. I'm not showing you that because no, just leave it be. I don't feel like it. And then we have Chad's desk here. Also needs a lot of work. Our temporary door. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a door there. Um, Ignore the dryer sound, by the way. I'm doing laundry because I've been neglecting my laundry uh, for the last three weeks now. This couch was actually a hand-me-down from somebody and we were stoked because it actually has... Look at this couch. Look at all this storage space in here. Some records that we love, some inspirational photos, some antique art. Still need to box that in. Yeah, but Function. actually it's... All of our amps are off the ground. Where do you even start? Keyboard, ukuleles, banjos, anything. Drums, guitars. Where the sink is over there. I'm gonna build a little coffee slash bar. And have some shelves, little mini fridge. A very usable space. And I'll keep it a shampoo bowl in case someone wants their hair washed while we're down here. Yeah. And it has a new name. It's called the Black Room. I don't think I have to explain why. I challenge you to a duel. One bullseye. It's regulation height. You're short, lady. 5'8". Five, 5'8 five, eight. Eight. Five, eight is regulation. All right, I pick green, which is my side. All right, so closest to bullseye wins? Yeah, should we get three darts to throw or just one? Just one. Cheers. Okay, we got a Chris in the dartboard. Sweepy and I are gonna throw our darts. We each have one. Closest to bullseye wins. Mine is black and gold. Hers is black and teal. May the best man win. Oh, that was a solid throw. Are you kidding me? It was my first time on this high of a board. Our board was really low before. All right, here you go. <sighs> Pressure's on. Oh! All right. Well, you did do a lot of hard work in here. You deserve the win. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I already threw a dart earlier today, so. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for joining us on this long process if you were here from the beginning. And you were holding tight with us throughout all the twists and turns that yeah. we've encountered over the last month. There were a few, yes. I need a cup of coffee. Oh, I want dinner. Speaking of that, <laughs> if you appreciate whatever this content is for you, whether it's helping you uh, find inspiration to do your own stuff or it's just something funny to watch, uh, we hope that you find it enjoyable. YouTube has added a new feature. Yeah, there's a little button below our video. It says, and it thanks. says Is it thanks? I think it says thanks. Yeah, if you guys want to buy us a cup of coffee, you can click on that button now. Which or is... maybe dinner after a long month. Of course, if you don't want to or can't support with a monetary thanks, just leave a comment below. We love to hear you guys' comments. We love to talk to you, respond. We read them all. We, we do. Both do so. There's not a lot, so it doesn't take that long.